In the year 2010, Norman introduces a brand new product line, which is an addition to Norman's range of products, Neumann Studio Monitors. And uh, here at the Tonmeister Tagung, we are introducing the first two-way studio monitor called KH120. And uh, my colleague Andrew will give you some more details and insight into this brand new product. So Andrew, would you please explain a little bit about the KH120? Yep, certainly will. So this is a two-way design with a one-inch tweeter and a five and a quarter-inch bass driver. It has a bass reflex design, so it can play down to 52 hertz and up to 112.2 dB maximum SPL. So it's a very uh, compact system, but it also has good bass response and, and good maximum SPL. Uh, we're also able to add to the bass response by adding a subwoofer, uh, which will take us down to 18 hertz, and that's the KH. 810 subwoofer. Yeah, we have recently introduced this as a 5.1 system at the AES convention in San Francisco and it was very well received by the public, so we think this is a major part of Neumann's future. We are standing in front of this nice application. Could you give us a short description of what we can see here? It's a setup consisting of a shotgun microphone and a figure of eight which combi is combined to an MS configuration, so you can use it as a mono setup or okay. as a stereo. And you can even in the post-production define the width of the stereo image in the, of the recording. And both microphones are digital, so that you get the whole dynamic range of the capsules into the recording. There are lots of field recorders already in the field, which have just a digital AES-3 input, so we take the DMI2 portable as an interface between the digital microphones and the field recorder because we can have two microphones, the signals are combined to one AES-3 signal and we can even change different settings in the microphone like low cut, pre-attenuation and gain directly here on the device. The other DSP functions can be controlled um, from a PC and the setups are stored as presets and then can be loaded into the microphone. So you can say your first take is your last take. This is our answer. Another new product which we are introducing here is the new miniature microphone system for digital as well as analog applications. And uh, my colleague Jürgen Breitlow will uh, explain some more details about it. Please, Jürgen. So from the application, it's very similar to the KM100 system we all know. So you can detach the capsules can have different accessories in between the output stage and the capsule. You have eight different um, polar patterns or eight different capsules and you can choose or the user can choose uh, whether he wants to use it in analog or digital or he can start in analog and further um, later go on with digital. We have here different stage microphones from Neumann. Um, let's start with the KMS 105 which is um, our yeah, well, uh, most known um, stage microphone. It has a um, hypercardioid polar pattern. We added last year the KMS 104 Plus. The Plus stands for a little boost in the lower frequencies, which is very good for female voices. And now we have here the digital stage microphone. Why digital? Because in the Solution D microphone series we are offering for many years now are implemented very interesting features like compressor limiter function and peak limiter functionality and this is ideal for the vocal microphones because these microphones are closed talking microphones which is very sensitive to overload and popping effects and it is very nice to have features inside the microphone to avoid these overload um, sounding and missounding effects right inside the microphone, right behind the capsule, as with other Solution D microphones as well. We would like to take this opportunity to give you an overview about the most popular vocal microphones made by Neumann Berlin. First of all, the U87. It's over the years announced by different sound engineers as the most popular, as the favorite reverence vocal microphone in a lot of uh, recording studios. The second one is the TLM 103, just launched uh, some years ago. It's uh, 
one of the microphones with the best price performance ratio, which is available in the market. Um, a lot of customers gave us the feedback, this is a microphone um, where you can say you can hear how the grass is growing because it's uh, the microphone in form of the lowest equivalent noise levels which is available in the market with a very transparent with a neutral sound and therefore it's a favorite microphone for voc for all vocals um, in a lot of uh, voice over applications or as well in as a universal microphone for film movie productions. Our baby, the entry-level microphone, the TLM-102, just launched in the beginning of this year and it's already awarded as the best studio microphone of the year 2010. Uh, the frequency range, the sound characteristic is optimized by our engineers for vocal applications but also if you have a look in the instrumental recording world for recordings with uh, for percussions because it's able to handle very high sound pressure levels. The BCM line, our broadcast microphone, the design is a result of a development with a lot of international uh, broadcasters and we have these uh, product line available in two versions, the 705 as a dynamic microphone and the 104 with the typical features of a condenser microphone. Last but not least, the TLM49, a microphone if you would like to give more soul to your voice, this is the right one. The sound is warmer, it's more crispy, it's a tube-like sound and we have a lot of customers worldwide who really like this kind of sound. Test it!